Welcome to Arthur L. Williams Stadium in Lynchburg, home to the Liberty Flames, and fans have been eagerly anticipating this clash and filling up this stadium quickly. Today, these two squads square off in a Conference USA showdown. As we'll see, the Florida International Panthers taking on the Liberty Flames. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Flames will kick it away to start. He'll start the return inside his five. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. The Panthers' return team didn't help matters out much there. And when you take the field with the confidence, the swag that this guy does, David, it just really elevates your confidence in the passing game. That receivers don't usually lack confidence, and those are the guys that kind of set the tone, and that swagger sets the tone for this offense, and just you know he's going to make plays. And that speed scares defenses, too, because he can take the top off quick. These safeties better get back deep, or else this guy's going to take it to the house. The Panthers are in the hurry up. Just feeds the running back. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. They'll snap it from the 26 on first down. Gonna run it. It's Lawrence. Forges ahead. Picks up about three to the 29. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you really want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? That was almost picked off, and what a disaster that would have been to throw a pick on the opening drive. Instead, it's fourth down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. FIU will line up to punt. Bringing it back, it's Green. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shop. The Flames offense will go to work for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. On the option. He'll pitch it. Nice move to stay on his feet. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. He's looking to throw it. 
and they can't make the connection. And that's where quarterbacks, you know, they got to be very assertive. They got to believe what they see and really pull the trigger. But the longer they wait and they get off rhythm or off timing, a lot of times it ends up in incomplete passes. After the incompletion, looking at second down. Out of the gun to give to the back. He picks up four. That'll leave them with third and six. Trying to pick up a first down. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. They've got the screen set up. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some range for their running back. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing, offensive line allowed everybody to run up field, and they slip in the running back screen in behind it. There was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. The quick out, and he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route run. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. You gotta get him involved. And the Flames have pushed it inside the 20. Looking to pass, it's Salter. He makes the connection. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. Hey, QBs, when you see zone coverage, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. The Flames trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So you get stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now on this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. He'll pull it on the read. Oh, he left him grabbing. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Yeah, and that's the hard thing about these QBs that can move and run all over the place and give you so many options is that that didn't even look like much, but he chews up so much yardage and gets those little gains that just death by a thousand cuts that continue to happen with this offense. Motion from the offense. Looking to the end zone on third and goal. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Liberty! He didn't see anyone open. He said, no problem. I'll take care of it myself. Yeah, I've been there before. Been there, done that. Not my first rodeo. I've been in this kind of situation. Down by the goal line, I'm getting outside, and I'm taking it in myself. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Extra point. And the PAT makes it 7-0. An impressive 66-yard touchdown drive. And finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Florida International offense is back on the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around for erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. FIU pushing tempo. Takes a handoff. It's Lawrence. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. 
Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. From the gun, running back on the move. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. And the Panthers have it with a first and ten. Just when they're looking run, now up top. Steps away. Trying to escape and get it himself. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want to, they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. Let's see what they've got on second down. Back to pass, it's Jenkins. Quickly complete. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times they'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Looking to push the pace with the no huddle. third and short they'll ride the running back here and the defense holds firm no pickup at all on that play well this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride stopping the run that's where it all starts and ends with them and you saw a great effort on that last play FIU will line up to punt this will be a second time they've had to kick it away And the ball will bounce at the four and find its way into the end zone for a touchback. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Got three on first down at second and seven. The option look. Got room at the 35. And he froze that defender. He thought he was going to pitch it, kept it himself, and turned it into a big play. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea. Because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Tight end finds a soft spot. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give him a first down. You know, we joke that the tight end's always open, David, but... Play action almost makes it impossible to keep them covered. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open, and they find holes in zones, or they get good matchups. And man, those tight ends nowadays are nightmares for defenses to try to stop. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. Run game is good. Balance is good. Now listen, if the run game isn't good, then you got to pass the football a little bit more. But sometimes you got to keep them honest, take them chunk by chunk. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. On the option. Oh, and he can't hold the pitch, and the ball's loose. And the fumble goes out of bounds, and they'll lose a few on that play. And you could just feel a collective sigh of relief when that ball rolled out of bounds. Yeah, that defense, they looked excited. You see all those bodies trying to run over and jump on that football? That offense is very lucky that thing trickled out of bounds. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Fires on the run. Picked off. 
And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. Well, the quarterback trying to get aggressive there on third down, he saw something he liked in a matchup he wanted to take advantage of, but the defense, they simply weren't fooled and they're able to come away with the pick. FIU gets it back, and the Panthers will send the offense back onto the field. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. FIU pushing tempo. Takes the handoff. It's Lawrence. Danced his way through traffic. Pick up a four to the 19. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarter. He's trying to keep these third downs managed. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long. And now you're set up to fail. Third and short. They've got them back up inside the 20. And the D can get the ball back here. To the air. It's Jenkins. On the run, still looking. He's going to run it. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. It's just so hard defensively to take your eye off this guy, especially on third down. You've got to know that at any given moment, he can take off on you. They've got to do a better job on the back end, keeping their focus on him. He's the one with the football, and they've got to be able to react, or else they're going to get gashed like they did right there. The give to the tailback. Brought down at the 47, but not before he ripped off 15. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. FIU set up with another first down. Quarterback on the keeper. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. And when these quarterbacks run these zone reads, read options, whatever you want to call them, they have to put their eyes on a certain defender. And they're reading him. And basically, you can't be right. That's what makes it so hard to defend because if you do one thing, he's going to do the other. If you do the other thing, he's going to do the other. So good luck stopping him. On second down, they'll take to the air. He'll try to do it himself. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this game. No huddle offense to the line. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. And this offense is clicking, everything's moving, and the guy carrying the football, I mean, he is carrying the rock. Like, this is a guy that's he's setting this tone for this game, creating some balance on this offense. This offense is going to be a handful. Yeah, David, I'd love to sit here and say, well, the offensive coordinator is just one step ahead of his counterpart across the field. That's not it. Right now, his offensive line is establishing the line of scrimmage, and you mentioned the back. He right now is running with authority on this drive. Well, you love to see that from the defense, right? It's like bend, don't break. They've given up a bunch of plays on this drive, but now that they're getting down close to field goal range, you're seeing them start to stiffen up. Yeah, and plays don't matter anymore. Yards don't matter. All that matter with these defenses nowadays is points and limiting them. He'll keep it himself. Fights off a defender. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. It's the MO of this offense, and it really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance, their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. The Panthers want to pick up the tempo. Ball. 
Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the chains. It's first down at the 27. And that is the final play of the quarter. And guys, Liberty has the lead here. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. And they've swapped ends of the field, and we'll get it going in the second. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. Used to play fake, now to throw. Looking to scramble. Trying to make magic with his feet. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Well, you're making a positive out of a negative. And that time, quarterback, nice job, buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield, nothing there. So instead of throwing it away, getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. FIU mounting a threat in the red zone. He'll do it himself. Tackle is made after the first down. It must have been a brutal week for this defense preparing for this game because of all the different ways they can attack you and because of how athletic this quarterback is and how he can hurt you running the football. He just showed it to you right there. FIU comes out with a fresh set of downs. To the ground with the back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. The offense in hurry up mode. After run, 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 now throw. And the pass is incomplete, charged loose by the hit. Big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell he extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it, and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They'll finally get him stopped at the one-yard line. What a run there. And they just kind of sneaked that one in there as a defensive guy, third and five plus. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass, Palmer, and they slipped the run in. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off. And he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. And they just tried to slam it in from the doorstep, but they went nowhere. And it'll be marked down at the one. How about the defender? being a heat-seeking missile. He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. And the D deny them on second and goal. They'll keep it on the ground to the left, stiffing the goal line. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And in that situation, the one-yard line, the defense brings so many guys. Palmer gets in the backfield, creates the negative play. Yeah, I think we're seeing the overall athleticism of this defense. They've got guys flying the ball. They'll try to pass it in on third and goal. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. That's a good example there of complementary defense. The DBs and linebackers are playing zone. They're playing their spaces, and they force the QB to, to have to hold the ball, try to work through his progressions, and then the pass rush. They win up front. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. That makes the score Liberty seven, Florida International three. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. 
on the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll run the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that's a great job by the defense, understanding exactly the situation, understanding to stay home, play sound. No matter who gets the football, we're going to run to the football hard. We're going to cage the football, be disciplined. Nice job by the defense. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking downfield, it's Salter. Unloads it left. Complete in the middle. That one That's can really right. put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner, got the speed, got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him, and especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. A little release to the back. Line getting set on second down. Fighting off the defender. And he's brought down after a nice game. And the Flames are marching down the field. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line gets to assert themselves, run block, what they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Trying play action. Throws to the tight end. Got him downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, they come up with a huge play. They're going to be down in the red zone now. And I think, David, the mentality changes a little bit for a defense, right? Playing at this position of the field. Yeah, the field shrinks. Now it becomes a little bit easier to play. More man coverage, you know, down in that red area. But giving up the big pass play, it's always, it's a backbreaker. You, you want to make them earn it down the field, not give up these big plays. But the QB saw it right away. And really good job of executing and making the big play. We're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. After losing yardage, it's second and 12. Dropping back, it's Salter. Buys a little extra time. Got some room in to the goal line. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Flames. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. They go 83 yards on the drive, and the score came on an impressive run from the 20. 
Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, FIU ready to go back to work on offense. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David, only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. The passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early in this one. They just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. And the Panthers want to crank the tempo. Off the play fake. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. He's got it. And he will score. Touchdown, FIU. And man, is that perfect timing. You could tell quarterback drops back. He sees his guy and he knows he's open. But watch the throw. Deep down the field, Palmer, right in the bread basket. Nice play, nice pitch and catch. He did a nice job of getting it up in the air early and allowing his guy to run under the football, locate it, and then make a tough grab. That is the definition of an explosive play. Getting set for the point after. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a big play up top going 63 yards to the house. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. They'll run the option. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Back to the ground game on the left. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. Now on third down for this offense. To the air, it's Salter. Got his man. Turns it on down the left side. The 10. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Liberty. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge, and also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they find Pater from way out, covering 69 yards on the touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. The returner will field it and try to do some business. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. 
Coming out on first down with the play fake. They're trying to get to him. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seventh. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong that they can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. Hoping to find one that works this time on second down from the seven. The play action fake. Throws to the wideout. Pulls it in. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him in the way. gun they'll give it on the inside they stop him after a short game probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming FIU will line up to punt Signals for the fair catch and looks it in at the 40. Liberty takes over and the Flames offense ready to go to work. Off play action on first down. And you just don't expect your junior quarterback to get fooled and to throw it into double coverage like that. Well, the defense just needs something positive to happen. They're trailing in this game. A turnover would be massive for momentum right now. And a nice effort defensively getting a hand on the ball, knocking it down. This offense has a second down play. Looking to throw, it's Salter. Setting up the screen. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And there you go. You see, you don't have to throw bombs to get big plays in the passing game. Just screen it to your running back. As soon as he catches it, he gets upfield. And how about the downfield blocking by these linemen and the wide receivers as they rip off that explosive play? They'll run it out of the shotgun. He's there to make the stop. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run, not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They're going to run it to the right. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Quarterback on the move, still looking. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. This is why everybody grows up and wants to be an offensive coordinator and not a defensive coordinator, because he can do that. He drops back. He's supposed to pass, but you know what? I'll just scramble around, and I'll, I'll just go get plenty of yards and pick them up and put them down, and I'm faster than most of your other guys, too, so good luck stopping him. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, play. Nice job understanding. I got to get to that gap where there's a little bit of open space in the middle of the field when I run that post route. QB lays it out for him and he catches it, gets two feet in bounds in the end zone. Touchdown. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point sails through for a 28-10 lead. 
So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Florida International offense is back on the field. He'll pull it on the read. He'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Man, these read options are so hard to diagnose, just like right there. He picks up a little chunk of yards, not a big chunk, but it's so easy when you run the read options. Why is that? Why is it easy? Because if you want to play fast to the football, well, then fine, I'm going to pull the ball right now and to use your aggressiveness against you. But if you want to sit back, then fine, I'm going to give the ball right now and, and get a little chunk of yards. Back to throw, it's Jenkins. Trying to get to it. Takes a hit as he fires. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. Couldn't find his man last time. That leaves him with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. Got a man. It's Rivers. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. We've reached the two-minute warning and this thing has been one-sided and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. The Panthers come to the line with a new set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. you got to be impressed with this defense early in this game, guys. They've got a big lead because they are getting after the quarterback. They've already generated multiple sacks. They thought coming into this game they could take advantage of this offensive line, and that game plan is working to perfection. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. Quickly to the tight end. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards in with him. Coming after it. And that pass is intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And that's just excellent cover. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board. He's still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open. And if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it in the tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Timeout, Liberty. They'll line up for a second down play. Dropping back, it's Salter. Good timing on the quick out. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. I know a lot of people are going to look at that play and say, man, that was a bad play. It didn't gain any yards. But that could be the offense maybe setting something up. The play caller is going to remember that last play. He's going to remember how the defense reacted to it, made a quick tackle. They might pump that throw and then hit another player vertically down the field for an explosive play down the line. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. 
He got it. And now the lead is even bigger. Well, it's a good news, bad news scenario. You got the pick, and you would have liked to have paid that off with a touchdown, but because it, the drive stalls out, you're still happy to get the field. So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away and hoping that will be the final point of this first half. Here's the return from inside his tent. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. From the gun, give on the inside. He's brought down at the 29 after a 10-yard gain. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. Wants to throw. It's Jenkins. Feeling some heat. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Just enough time for one final play of the half. Right back to the air on second and ten. He lobs one high down the left side. Pass is incomplete and half comes to a close on that play. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like you've had a very enjoyable day so far there today in Lynchburg. And we have to start our report with acknowledging the play of that quarterback. There's a reason why he's part of the Heisman conversation and why scouts at the next level are so excited about this young man. He's the leader of that offense. He has presence there in that pocket. He has a cannon for an arm. What else do you want? And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at the Bill Arthur L. Williams Stadium. FIU has it on a tee about ready to go here in the third quarter. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Liberty takes over and the Flames offense ready to go to work. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Trying to impose their will with the run. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. And nowhere to run on that play at all. About all you can say is do better. But that's the problem. Are they able to do better? And that's why you keep trying things, right? Keep trying to get on the perimeter, run it up the middle, try different things to see what you do well. To throw, it's Salter getting some heat. And they fail to hook up on third down. Well, these DBs better stay ready because even though they're trailing by a lot in this game, the opponent's not trying to run the ball and bleed the clock. They are still taking shots, so you're going to have to continue to try to make plays back there deep. The Flames line up to punt it away. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. FIU gets it back, and the Panthers will send the offense back onto the field. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. FIU pushing tempo. Grab behind the line. It's Washington. Didn't pick up a lot there, moving it forward just a few. 
Well, if you're going to get first downs against this defense, you're going to have to earn it. You're going to have to make people miss. This is an excellent tackling unit. You saw it on that last play. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. To the ground to try to pick up the first. They get him down, but it's past the sticks, and it's a first down for FIU. Third and inches, everybody knows what's coming, but it's so dang hard to stop, and you better get penetration with that defensive line. They didn't do a good enough job. Running back falls forward and does his job. FIU comes out with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Rivers. And a big-time grab there. Knocked down immediately, but not before he gets it to the 40. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Looking for space. It's Lawrence. On the move at the 30. Brought down at the 25-yard line. Give him 15 yards on the pickup, and this offense is threatening. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance, and, and right here just chews up another first down, gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got to burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it, and right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. Stop is made, but he picks up four yards down to the 21-yard line. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Looking to throw, it's Jenkins. Pass on the way, it's picked off! Takes it the other way. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. You know, I like the decision by the quarterback in terms of where he was going with the ball. I just don't like the accuracy. That was not good location on the throw. Got away from him a little bit, and the defense able to come up with a big win. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Running the option. It's Salter. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. So after the first down run, here's second down. Here comes the option. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. You know, this offensive line, they just got to hold their blocks a little bit longer. This offense likes to run their quarterback on design plays. And if you can just give them a little crease, he can take it the distance, but they couldn't get it done there. They're within field goal range at the 29. Let's see if they can pick up a few or the first down on third and long. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. Keeps it himself. Got some room. Headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Liberty. And the stomping has commenced. Well, this offense has been physical. They came out in this game with a lot of pride and the ability up front and the belief that they can block people and get it done. They are dominating this defense. Three rushing touchdowns now in the game.
They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And he put an exclamation point on that drive with a 29-yard touchdown. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Guys, FIU ready to go back to work on offense. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. He leaves it with his back. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. The give to the back. At the 35, he's loose. Just gashing this defense, a big gainer to the 40-yard line. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right, is the defense, you keep them guessing. You could throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. And the Panthers have it with a first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. You want to talk about running behind your pads as he fouls his way to the 35. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. They'll try the run. Makes the tackle at the 31. It's a pickup of five on the play. I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table. Everything's available. High success rate. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll run play action. Now rolling to the left. And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. Honestly, third and one, I think you just run the ball. You just trust in your own guy's ability to be more physical, win the line of scrimmage, and go get that yard. Now with the sack, they're going to have to punt. They'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. They'll have to generate power and some accuracy. A 50-yarder from the left hash. He boomed it through. A 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful leg. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut them out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. Coming out with it, it's Lee. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Liberty takes over and the Flames offense ready to go to work. Running to the left. Running with power. Coming out, attacking from deep in their own end, and they're out at the 26 with the first down. 
And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still you cannot stop them? There is nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping That's that run, right. not worrying about the pass as much. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Back to throw, it's Salter. Just a short pass to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. It's a draw. And the defense had his hands full, but they finally wrestled him down short of the first down. Coming up, fourth down. And the Flames will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. The Florida International offense is back on the field. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. Yeah, and listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better games so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. they just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker. It is so important to this team. Now the play fake. Fires to the middle. He makes a catch. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Toss sweep to the right. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TF out. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad. You tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away, pass incomplete. FIU will line up to punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Fair catch called for and made. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. 
Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And he's going to lose yardage. He was looking everywhere for just a little grass and a little air and none to be found. Yeah, and listen, the offense has had their way, and they've had so much success and so much production. But listen, at least the defense got a rep. You know, maybe this gets you some a spark. Maybe this gets you some energy. Maybe we'll see a little bit more life from this defense. Yeah, they may not win the game, but I think this defensive coaching staff at this point, based on how this game has gone, they're just trying to find things to build off of. And maybe that's something they can point to as they get ready for their next opponent of things they did right and things that they got to do more consistently moving forward. The Flames have it with a first and ten. Out of the gun, the running back has it. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Back to the ground with the running back. And he doesn't find much running room. A short gain on the play. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? Back to pass. It's Salter. Right down the middle. It's caught downfield. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Just needed three yards on third down, and they got it with precision execution. And the QB got the football and got that thing out of his hands. Nice job, nice slant, nice timing route. Throw it to the receiver, get it on his body where he can make the play and get the first down. Leaves it with the running back. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. He'll ride his man on the option. Nowhere to go on that run, and that brings us to the end of the third quarter. Big catches, big plays, tons of yards through three quarters for these two guys. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. They've been very good at moving the chains on third down. Two for two on this drive. This time they need six. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? Offense facing fourth down. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. And this kicker might be feeling it. He made one earlier, now from 49 yards out. And he missed it. No good. And they missed a field goal, so something has gone wrong today. Number 38, Florida International, 13. FIU gets it back, and the Panthers will send the offense back onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. He wants to throw. Fires to the middle. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. 
Well, the defense really stepped up in this game. They knew they had to slow down this passing attack. They knew they had some matchups. They were going to have to win one-on-one. -on -one. They've been able to do that, and as a result, they haven't allowed 200 passing yards in this game. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. And that's what we players call a seven route. That receiver ran it beautifully. From the 22 on first and 10. From the gun, the ground game. He's all the way down to the three. Showed it all on that run. That's a really nice game. It just would have been really nice to see this from this offense earlier. Now you're getting to the point where there's a couple of thought processes. Do I build momentum for next week? Do I try to get this offense, the ground game clicking? Or do I throw the football every play and try to make this football game close? Barrels ahead. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Florida International. Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. On to attempt the try. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. So they got the score. The lead is still 18 as they prepare to kick off. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Liberty takes over and the Flames offense ready to go to work. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. On the option. They need to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Now on the option. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. At the 24 yard line. Now, fourth down. And the Flames will punt it away on fourth down. No return coming here. Fair catch is signal for and made just shy of the 30. Guys, FIU ready to go back to work on offense. Looking downfield, it's Jenkins. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. Here's the deal, you're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're gonna come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. The Panthers come to the line in the hurry up. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Turns it on at midfield. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46 yard line. It'll be first down. Quick tempo here for the offense. Off the play fake on first down. Looking down the middle. Got his man downfield. 
They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. Well, I'll give this offense some credit because they've got a lot of fight. There is no quit in them, and they're obviously trailing by a big amount in this game. They haven't had a lot of success, but they're still taking shots, and their players are still out there competing. They ripped off a huge chunk, and now a little chunk is needed to pay it off. They'll try to sneak the wide receiver past him on first and goal. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Well, they lined up in a formation that had the whole defense crowded in the middle of the field, and then they popped the jet sweep on him, trying to get to the outside. Nice scheme offensively. And after the really good gain on first down, they'll try to finish it off on second and goal. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Really, really nice football play. Man, I got to understand option football. I got to play my responsibility, make sure that I know what I'm doing. Look at the linebacker. Great job doing that. Staying patient, getting to the quarterback, making the big tackle. And they'll try to bite a chunk out of this lead on third and goal. To the air, it's Jenkins. Quarterback adapting. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Panthers. Well, that didn't necessarily go as planned, but it was most effective in the end. I love it, Reese. Down in the red zone, this quarterback didn't have anybody open. Didn't panic. He just decided, man, I'm going to go do this myself. I'm going to use my wheels and put up six on the board. He did just that. Lining up to add another. Splits the uprights. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. They've cut into this lead. It's down to 11 as they're set to kick it away. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. Bulls his way forward. Ran to that daylight to pick up six to the 22. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. Now on first and 10 from the 29. On the option, it's Salter. At the 40, there he goes. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. The Flames will have it first and 10. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. Fires to the right. Wide open downfield. He just keeps piling up numbers with completion after completion in this standout performance. I think some people might say late in the game, you got the win, everything's in hand, be a little bit conservative, or you just say, I'm just going to keep doing me. And what I do with this offense is throw the football all over the yard, and I'm going to try to win me a big trophy at the end of the year. Pulls it in. It's Henderson. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. Down to the 16-yard line. It's first and 10. From the red zone, looking for a space. Gets it out quickly. 
And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. They keep attacking through the air. He caught it! And he was pushing for that goal line, but the D stopped him at the two. This is so interesting right now, watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we got to just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. Trying to barge in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Flames! Well, 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 somebody's been doing their box jumps. Wait, <laughs> Ryan, getting up in the air. Hey, listen, I'm taking a picture of that, saving it. That might be my screensaver on my phone, that vertical way up in the air. He'll try to tack on one more. And now with the extra point, they're up by 18 here in the fourth. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Florida International offense is back on the field. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the grab. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. FIU pushing tempo. Looking for room. It's Lawrence. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and forced a tackle for a loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And he's did a better job up front right there. That run was doomed from the get-go. Nowhere to go. The back gets hit as soon as he gets the football. Hard to succeed as a running back when you get the ball and you get clocked. Now facing a third and long. Looking for a man. It's Jenkins. He lost it high and deep down the left side. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. FIU set up with another first down. Quarterback on the keeper. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. Got some work to do after that last play. Second and 13. He'll keep it himself. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays, but he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. 
Got it in the middle. It's Lewis. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. Scanning the field, it's Jenkins. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. This quarterback has been under duress all game long. He's one of the best in the country, and he's used to having his way. He's the one who's used to dictating to opposing defenses, but that has not been the case in this game. Here we are late. He's still under pressure, taking a sack there. On second down, he'll let it fly. Fires into the end zone. And the throw and catch was good, but you got to do it the field of play, and he couldn't quite keep that foot in bounds. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the pressure of this defense, and that's why they find themselves down. Pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. And I tell you what, this defense, they've heard all about how great this quarterback is. They came in today with a mission, with a purpose. They've been flying around, harassing him, and making life so hard on this offense. It's fourth down now, and this likely the final snap before the two-minute warning. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. A field goal really doesn't do much for you in this situation, so they'll go for it on fourth and goal. He's looking to throw. Going for it all. Can't hook up on the long throw, and fourth down goes by the boards for this offense. Offense getting set for first down. Used to play fake, now to throw. It's complete on the right side. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game. And I got to be able to throw you the football. And you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it and I can depend on you. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. Out across the 30 to the 39 after getting 10 on that one. Yeah, it's make or break time for this defense now. They got to get a stop. And if that's bringing more bodies in, bringing more beef in, they're running the football right up the gut, right at you. They're not going to throw the football in this situation. Time to be more physical and get this big stop. Might as well give it to him again. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Small gain, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven.